So this is a drill for a few things. Um, it's a drill for right leg, if you're gonna focus on the right leg whilst you do it. Um, it's also a good drill for uh, making sure you're getting the hip rotation in the right place. And it's also quite good for sort of feeling uh, movement in pressure and things like that. So, but I, th I think it's called like a, a lawnmower drill or some uh, something like that. But basically what I wanna see, it's a good setup. Get everything in the right place, so just like nudging the hips, spines all straight, and put your thumbs just out in front of you like this, okay? Now, important from this angle that your weight is right behind the front of the laces, okay? So just behind here, so you don't want to weight too much over the toes or too much in the heels. Now, I'd say this is for the player who's really sort of getting stuck into the depths of movement rather than sort of a beginner. Um, but it's still good to understand where the weight's moving and and what different points have got to be. But it's slightly harder to do. So we need to have the correct form in the in the movement to make sure that everything goes well with the drill. So thumbs out in front of you like that. Now, as you go into the backswing, you're going to pull and push. So one's going up, one's going down. So you're going to feel as the right hip goes back, the thumb is going to pull up. Okay up here keep the arms fairly straight because that really encourages you to rotate then so you're going to go up okay so you feel into that position now i should feel from here that right hip has got a good bit of depth right knee's gone back weights in that right uh in that in that right heel and my left knee hasn't come too far over okay so from that position i'm then going to feel the right leg stay back right back and then from there i'm going to feel from here a push you can see there i'm moving moving much more to my left okay so i'm moving into that into the ball of that left foot okay and then from that point i'm then going to push off that left foot so i feel the weight push from here so i've loaded that right side pushing into the left side and then i'm going to push off with that left foot and that left leg, straightening that left leg out. And I'm gonna feel as though I'm then moving across, pushing down in that left leg and pulling up on my left side. So that really then helps also that lead shoulder get out of the way. So think movement back and then through. Okay, but again, it needs to have all the right points. Okay, but you're it's really good for feeling where the pressure movement is. You just do it slow. Try not to. I see a few people sort of do this and that. It's much more about push and pull. Okay, and so sometimes to do that, if you do it with dead straight arms, then it kind of really restricts the movement. Just to just let that. You want your arms fairly straight. You don't want them to have complete bend, but just want to be fairly straight as you see about there and then feel movement through all right